Well, hello again to all the boys and girls out there in YouTube land watching George Beer Views. Back at you today with another one. And what I am looking at is from Beacon Brewing Company out of LaGrange, Georgia. This is the Binjarong. It is a Thai chili porter flavored with kaffir, lime leaves, and Thai chili peppers. I have never had this beer before. I have had a lot of beers from Beacon Brewing Company. Uh, they've all been very good. This was canned on October 28th. Hard to read, but I think October 28th. So relatively fresh. 6.8% alcohol. IBUs are not listed. It does have a description. It says, Benjurong Thai Chili Porter, a uniquely spiced porter with an initial aroma of kaffir lime leaves followed by roasted notes. Thai chili peppers are showcased after the first sip in flavor and a full mouth heat that is intriguing but not overwhelming. So, very interested to see how the heat plays into this one. I did have a porter recently uh, sent to me by Bumpy Road Brewery out of New Hampshire. He made a porter that he used chili peppers in and I thought it was excellent. So I'm hoping this one is up on that level. Let's go ahead and give it a pour. Wow. I wasn't really that aggressive with the pour, but as you can see, very, uh, very active. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but very, very fizzy. Mmm, and some nice roasted malt, some caramel notes. Good lord, I am barely pouring it, and it is just that head is just billowing up very rapidly. A little vanilla. On the aroma as well. I feel like I'm getting some of the chili peppers on the aroma, which is kind of hard to describe. I mean, typically peppers don't have a very pronounced smell, but there's something there that a little bit of a chili pepper. Maybe the lime leaves. Maybe that's what I'm picking up on more. The kaffir lime leaves. Don't know anything about fear lime leaves. Definitely a very, very pleasant aroma. I'm not going to try to drink through that. I'm going to pause the video for a second and let this head die down a bit. All right, the head has died down a little bit there. It's kind of a, it's a tan head. It's not very creamy, but it's very pillowy. There's a lot of big bubbles in there. A lot of air pockets. Uh, the appearance, I don't think I mentioned that either, is very, very dark brown, almost black. But when I hold it up to the light, I can see brown around the bottom of the glass, around the edges. So I've already described the aroma. It smells really good. I think it's time to dive in. So without further ado, let's get into this brew. Cheers, guys. Very roasty, toasty right up front, getting some darkly toasted bread, a little bit of dark chocolate. Maybe a touch of the vanilla as well that I was picking up on the aroma is coming through a little bit on the palate, but primarily with this roasty, toasty nice and bready. Uh, a little bit of the chili pepper is coming into play on that second sip. Let me take another sip and see if that heat builds a little bit more. It does build a little bit more. It's not really that hot though, but definitely <laughs> let you know that there's a little something in there. 
like they said on the label, intriguing, not overwhelming. It's definitely intriguing. I love peppers. I love hot peppers. I love the idea of adding chili peppers to a dark beer like this. Porters and stouts are the way to go if you're going to make a chili beer, I think. Um, it really does wonders for this beer, uh, whereas hops do wonders for an IPA. I think that uh, applied appropriately to a porter or stout, I think chili peppers are an excellent addition. I think that they did a really good job with the balance of uh, the chili peppers in here. It's not overwhelming. Um, it doesn't take away from the roast or the dark chocolate notes or any of the caramel sweetness or anything like that. Uh, the finish is very smooth. It doesn't really have a creamy mouthfeel. It's not a super dry mouthfeel. It's mostly wet on the finish, but it's a very, very enjoyable beer. Like the carbonation is medium. It's kind of building up. I've got some burps coming here. Um, very enjoyable beer. This is one of the better beers from Beacon. This is a an excellent porter, one of the better porters that I've had in a while, uh, other than the homebrew porter that was sent to me recently. Uh, this one's up there. Uh, the bitterness is light to medium. It, it, it's probably, if I had to guess, I would say maybe like 30 IBUs. Um, I think some of the bitterness is coming from the roast because it's such a roasty, toasty beer. I'm getting a little bit of bitterness from that. Um, and then, of course, from the hops. But that nice chili, pepper, slightly spicy finish is really nice. And, of course, being a porter and stout lover, I mean, I love malt-forward beers. This is definitely that. It's malt-forward, but it's also got that nice bready backbone as well. It hits all the right notes. The 6.8% alcohol is masked exceptionally well. I'm not picking up on any of that. Um, I'm not picking up on any of the kaffir lime leaves. I don't really know. I've never had that before, lime leaves. So I, I don't really know what to expect. I guess I could be picking it up. Uh, in the overall flavor profile, but I don't know what to look for with that. Uh, so what I'm going to say about this beer is that it's a solid A. It's getting up there towards world class for the style. I think it is a 96 out of 100. I would highly recommend it if you live in Georgia and can find Beacon Brewing Company beers. Get you a six-pack of this, $9.99 for a six-pack. Uh, Benjarong Thai Chili Porter, an excellently balanced just a really, really, really good beer. So that'll do it for this beer review, guys. I hope you're all having a great day. And until next time, everybody, cheers.